Hey everyone, I'm finally getting a chance to go out and cook my real Australian delicacy. I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna get dark on me and I'm hopeful that I have enough light this time to make it a better viewing experience, but that's okay. I'm also already getting started on the parody video that I'm doing next and um, it's gonna be funny folks. I'm convinced of it. I've already gotten some help, help from other people and uh, I've gotten some pretty good ideas on how to um, make it interesting for fans of the bloke. So uh, stay tuned for that. I've got part of my uh, props ready to go with me here and we're gonna start with some four Okay, it's me again, and this time I'm cooking a real meal again. Did the roast, it was just a roast, I didn't even do any sides. This time I'm cooking an Australian fish that I've wanted to make since I was a boy. And the reason that I've been interested in it, and probably one of the reasons I started having an interest in Australia in general, is because of the movie Crocodile Dundee. And I know some people from Australia hate that, that that's the impression Americans have of them and I realized even as a boy that that was stereotypical it was a movie full of jokes even though it was a pretty good movie um, and frankly it's a classic in my opinion but in that movie well barramundi's a bloody big fish well finally I found some barramundi here in the United States at a place called Costco I think you guys have them in Australia too for those who are watching from there I'm going to cook it tonight I'm going to Got my asparagus, just enough for me. That's all I need tonight. Here is my piece of bear Monday. It was flash frozen before it got shipped to the US and I'm thawing it out now. It's ready to go actually. I thawed it on the way here and uh, gonna cook it on the grill. And along with that, I've got these small fingerling baby potatoes that I'm going to turn into mashed potatoes. I like them because they're small. They take less time to cook. You don't even have to cut them if you don't want to. And we have some onions and garlic and, of course, just salt and butter to season it. Looks like I've gotten myself all wet. All right, so here we go. Okay, let me get my potatoes going here. And I do think I'm going to cut them a little bit just to speed up the cooking process. My fire is almost ready for them now. spot that is um, highly in use today so oh well normally this spot is kind of private but that's okay I'm inside the Osceola National Forest so this is all public land um, anywhere north of the freeway which is called Interstate 10 you can camp and as long as there's not a fire ban you can have a campfire there's no fire ban right now um, it's been raining plenty here in North Florida, so that's a good thing. And so I'll get the camera focused on my fire in just a minute after it. It's time to get the potatoes on. So I'm just cutting these things into smaller pieces, nothing unusual. I could have started the water first, but my fire is not quite ready. 
so I'm doing it this way. The real chefs out there, I'm sure, will have something to say about the way that I'm doing this, but it works for me. And I am going to salt the water that these potatoes go in and just boil them until they get soft enough to make mash with. These little potatoes are also awesome for just um, making smashed potatoes um, where you partially boil them and then smash them and fry them the rest of the way. But this is what I'm doing now. Just gonna cover them with water. And they'll be ready to go. Put a little bit of salt in there as well. And where is my kosher salt? I had to refill it after my last video because I used it all. so I can find it easier next time. Let's give them a stir. All right. Got some mud on the cruiser the last time I went out and I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. So it looks like my fire is almost ready to put these on. I'm gonna move along. There we go. Potatoes on the fire. Now I'm going to prepare the rest of my food. So I'm gonna prepare my asparagus now. So, you know, some people don't even trim these, but I feel like you should because no matter what you do, if you get this to the right tenderness to be enjoyable to eat, this is not quite there. And if you get this to the right tenderness to eat, then this is mush. So here's what I do. You can just trim it, cut off some of the end, but a trick I learned, uh, I don't know. It might have been something I saw Harry do or somebody else on YouTube. I'll find out and see if I can post it in the comments. But just where it snaps is how far you need to trim down. So let me show you that again. So if you hold it, hold it at the end and then just begin to bend it. Where it snaps, that's where you need to trim it at. So just snap them off. That's the easiest thing to do. One more time. I'm going to do the rest of them at high speed. There you go. Drop one in the dirt. There's a pretty good um, meme on Cowboy Tuned about this exact thing, except for if I drop it in the dirt, I'm going to wash it off before I serve it to my guests. All right, let's see. There we go, last one. All right, so all of these, I'm out in the bush, so all of this plant material can go right in the woods. A rabbit or uh, something else we eat that promise you okay so in addition to the asparagus I'm gonna wait that won't take too long on the grill I've got some lemon I'm gonna put that on my fish I've got some garlic and some onions some uh, baby red onions that are gonna go in my mashed potatoes so let me get that going so again this is the Osceola National Forest and uh, this is a place that I've camped before just right over here, any, anywhere you want to, you can camp. But right over in that corner, across this little pond, I have camped before. And there's fish in here. I've seen alligators in here. It's a good, good place. In the middle of the night, uh, packs, I don't really know if they pack up, but you can hear multiple coyotes howling all around here. So that's kind of fun. Um, people have seen bears in this area. Also, people are coming out here and trashing the joint. So if you come to the Osceola Forest, please don't trash the place. Why? The next time I come, I'm gonna bring a glad bag and just walk around here and pick up as much trash as I can. It's like peeing in the ocean because people think the world is their trash can, but I can do my part. So this water is actually very clear. In fact, if you look, they're taken off away from me. There's little minnows right here in the water. It's cloudy right now because un undoubtedly it's been stirred up by people who are here. Some people were here just a few minutes ago fishing from that side of the that side of the pond but this is called a borrow pit or some people just call them bar pits what it is is dirt was dug out of here 
for a construction project, probably a Department of Transportation road uh, project, and then the hole was left. So the forestry service will stock it with fish and turning it, turn it into something that can be used for recreational purposes. Even before this was a national forest, this was just woods that no one owned except for, well, maybe somebody did own it, but people would just come out here to get dirt when they needed dirt for a home project or for uh, construction. Maybe they're building a house and they need to fill the forms or fill the foundation with dirt. People would just come out here and get a truckload of dirt. Those were called borrow pits. But again, most people just call them bar pits. You'll hear people in my area call them, go out there to the bar pit and go swimming. So anyway, Let's go back to the Okay, I'm gonna just slide all of my onions into this little pot that I have waiting for them. And I am going to saute them with a little bit of butter momentarily. In fact, let me go ahead and put a tablespoon or two or a knob of butter into here. Let's get these onions off my knife. There we go. I'm gonna put those on the fire as well and get them going. So I think I wanna speed this along. I am going to move the grill and try to put these right on the fire. So again, those are just the potatoes. And these are the onions that I'm trying to saute in some butter. That's all. Let me get that smoky piece away from there. All right, here we go. Hey, check this out. This place is full of wildlife. Let me see if you can see this. Let me put a light on it. Right there. And I'm going to try to not let you get motion sick. So that is uh, white-tailed deer tracks. They're just coming through here at some point. And I'll look around to see if there are any other wildlife tracks here to, uh, to show to you. Okay, it's coming along. So um, there's a beautiful sunset behind me. So that's the west. Uh, I am just about seven miles. Well, actually, at this point, I'm about three miles south of the Georgia-Florida border here in North Florida. Uh, this area is called uh, Olusty and or Sanderson, both of those. And it's inside the Osceola National Forest in North, North Florida. If you look at a map of Florida that shows the national forest, there's really two major national forests. There's the Ocala, which is about two and a half, three hours south of here. And then there is the Osceola National Forest, which is where I am now. Okay, so what am I going to do with the Bear Monday? Very simple. I am going to season it with kosher salt, just a little bit of pepper. And I am going to squeeze some lemon on it. That's it. Just a very, very simple way of cooking any kind of fish. This looks like it's very similar to sea bass. I think it may even be a type of sea bass. There looks like there's debate about that on the internet. So that's what I'm going to do. And the asparagus, I'm going to drizzle them with olive oil, kosher salt, and they're going to go on the grill. Uh, I will do those at the same time that I'm cooking the fish. I like them to be uh, still pretty firm. Some people say al dente, the same way that we, we do with pasta. I think they're good that way. And uh, that smoky flavor they'll get from the grill is great as well. So that's the way I'm going to cook these. I never did open my Sam Adams, so let's do that now. This is my favorite Sam Adams, Sam Adams 76. Good stuff. If you can get this in other countries, give it a try. Delicious. So, yes, uh, Instagram or YouTube critics, I know that I'm not fully in the shot. That's the way I chose to film this. I'm getting the Bear Monday out. I am going to pat it dry completely after getting it out. So let me do that. I'm just gonna take it out and put it right on these paper towels so that I can um, keep from getting so much fish on the mountain hatch, which is no problem. I'm gonna clean it anyway, but at least I can uh, prevent that from getting too fishy to begin with. So I wanna completely pat it dry. Put this. Actually, I'm gonna put it over here in my trash pile. All right, let's see. Okay, that is completely padded dry. I had to get a different knife out because I don't know what I did with that other little knife. So it'll turn up. It probably dropped down somewhere in here, but at any rate, I've got plenty. Oh, look, all I had to do was speak it into existence. Ah, okay. Let me check on the potatoes. Let's take a look. At all right, so the onions 
are starting to caramelize in there. They look pretty good. I'm gonna keep that going just a little bit to add to my potatoes when I make my mash. And let's take a look at the potatoes. Yep, they're coming. They're coming. I might need to swap up the locations here. Let's do that. Let's put that right there. And put this right there. I'm gonna do this to let some more air come out of there. All right. I think what I'm going to do is bring the grill over this half of the wood and coals and I'm going to go ahead and start my asparagus so we don't have to wait on this. Okay, now it's time for my asparagus. What I'm going to do is drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, like so. Maybe a lot of olive oil. And then just a little kosher salt. I like salt, folks. If you think I use too much salt, well, that's up to me, isn't it? This is my food. I have my blood pressure checked regularly, and I am A-OK. -okay. The finest specimen they have seen in a long time at my local physician. So, no worries there on the blood pressure scene. All right, so, okay. I'm going to put my asparagus right on the grill, just like so. The onions are good. Let's just get them off of there. There we go. And it's just a matter of, let me get out of the light, tossing them so that they get cooked evenly enough for me, which I like them a little firm, but tender enough to eat. The potatoes, they're coming. So, stand by. So, I've got a lot of olive oil and salt on this plate from the asparagus, and that's all I was going to put on the bare Monday to begin with. So, I'm just going to use this. That may seem crazy, but why not? Waste not, want not, right? That's what they say. Okay, so that should be good. I think that's plenty. I'm just gonna let it rest there until I am ready to put it on the grill. And I'm not gonna clean on camera this time because I don't want people to get bored seeing me clean. Uh, if you thought it was funny, then uh, I'll do another one later on, but I'm just uh, gonna clean off camera, which believe it or not, I really will do. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut this lemon so that when I get ready for it, it will be waiting on me. I'm just gonna squeeze some juice out of that half of the lemon on the fish uh, right before I take it off the grill to plate. So that's what I'm doing with that. And my garlic, I'm gonna get one clove out of here. See, this garlic is old and dry. Let's get to the middle here and get a good clove. You know what, we're not doing garlic. I've got some seasoned salt that has garlic and pepper in it. I'll use that for my potatoes. Uh, this garlic has been knocking around in my hot vehicle for a little too long, and I'm not gonna use it. It's no good. Oh well, such is life. So this is what I'm gonna end up using instead to season my mashed potatoes. It is complete seasoning, or I guess it's saison completa. And, oh man, this has got some good stuff in it. It has got, uh, Let's see. Oh, I had to look at the English ingredients. It has garlic, onion, salt, the king of flavor, monosodium glutamate, spices, herbs, and some other stuff. So anyway, it's basically salt, pepper, garlic, some dehydrated onion, and MSG. And I hate to tell you, MSG adds something to food. If you don't believe it, uh, sorry for your loss. And if you believe the incorrect information that's been spread since the 80s about MSG, do some research on it. It's not true. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that has just become believed by millions of people, and there's no scientific basis for it. So this is what I'm using. Good day. Ronnie Dahl from Four Wheel Drive Western Australia. I want to talk to you about saving space in your four wheel drive vehicle. Can you take things that have multiple purposes or can be used for multiple purposes? For example, don't take a hammer if you have a hatchet. You can use a hatchet for a hammer. Or don't bring a chair if you have a little table that you can sit on. 
Look how comfortable this is. Ah, you see, why take up space on your rig with a chair when you have a perfectly good table that you can sit on? And who needs a chair and a table at the same time? It doesn't make any sense. What do you think? Leave your comments below about what you think you should do, whether you should take a chair or not on your four-wheel drive trips. Also, if you wear a silver necklace like this, a chain necklace, it has multiple uses. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what's happening here with the asparagus. It is just about like I like it. You see that nice char gets on one side where you've grilled it. Yeah, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And let's check on the potatoes. Oh, they're perfect. They're perfect. Okay, now I just need to get these off and drain them. And, uh, ah, let me get my welding glove. And they've got this little hole, which is perfect for that. I'm still, but okay, here we go. Okay, potatoes are perfect. Now it's time to mash them. But first, let me get my Bear Monday on the grill. These can just rest over here next to the heat. They will be fine. Bear Monday's going right there. What do you think? Am I gonna get it stuck there? Is this gonna be a mistake? Let's see. Get a sear on it and see what happens. Okay, so this is the deal. I don't have any cream. I'm using loads of butter and that seasoning salt that I showed to you earlier to uh, add to these mashed potatoes and those onions. So let's get that together. So the onions, I have them close by, they're resting. I'm going to mash the potatoes with this spoon because that's all I have with me. And you can see I'm not having any trouble mashing them. I like them with the skins on. Some people rather peel them. I love the skins in my ma mashed potatoes. So, and I like them chunky. And these are going to be perfect. So now... should have seen me flipping the fish. Uh, I thought I recorded it. You've seen people do this in uh, videos that they've made. It's a real thing. Camera malfunction of some kind. It's not on the SD card. I don't know what happened to it. So you're gonna have to skip ahead to the plating. My asparagus are ready. They're, they're already delicious. I've tried them. Great. Mashed potatoes are ready. All that's left is the fish. I don't have a big enough spatula for it. It's so great. I'll come back for the rest. And for the plating, let's just turn it over this way and see what it looks like. Oh, yes. That looks delicious. I wish it had gotten a little more golden, but it's flaking apart. It's perfect. Let me get that lemon to squeeze on it. There's my lemon. I got a little char on it. Okay, I'm not doing a... Uh, gratuitous b-roll that's not my thing i'm not going to steal that from my uh you know outback cooking hero but instead i am going to do a live taste check it out okay here we go so i've already tasted the mashed potatoes let's get another bite of those pretty good 
this barramundi. This is my first time ever tasting it. It's flaking apart beautifully. So completely done. Looks great. Let's see. That is so good. It's very white. Not very white. It's very light and flaky. Mild flavored. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It reminds me a little bit of flounder. It's delicious. I've had Chilean sea bass a couple of times. Online they compare it to that. Oh, the asparagus are great. Look at the char on that asparagus. Can you see it? I know I need to work on my lighting people. I'm going to. I'm getting a solution. That's really good. So, I'm doing two other things with this Bear Monday. I'm going to make some elevated fish tacos, no joke. And I'm also going to make fish and chips with the Bear Monday. I think it'll be perfect for that. Hey, one last thing I forgot to ask you. If you like what I'm doing and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do it. Give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe so that you can see other things that I come out with. I appreciate your support. Appreciate all the conversations I've had with people from Australia. And uh, I've got a lot of other things coming your way. So thank you very much.